Today I'm going to show you how I've been exploring making interactive paper circuit art using Chibitronic circuit stickers and the Chibi Chip. I started by making a template for myself using the Circuit Sketcher tool online, and I love this tool because it lets me try things out in a really quick, low stakes way. And I know that my Chibi Chip and my stickers will line up perfectly if I use these elements because they're true to size. So I printed this out to use as my base. And then I followed the traces that I drew in Circuit Sketcher, covering each of them with that conductive fabric tape. Next, I add my Chibitronic Circuit stickers. And the nice thing about my template is that it tells me which direction my stickers need to be placed. So there's less of a chance that I place the sticker in the wrong orientation. I like to call out moments where I make mistakes and I have to troubleshoot because that's a part of the paper circuit making process. Here, I thought I was being smart earlier and I did not follow my template when I added the tape. I thought I was making a more efficient circuit, but it turns out I actually needed to follow the template there to incorporate one of my stickers into the circuit. The next thing I'll add is a magnet on read switch. This adds a fun interactive element to my circuit, allowing me to trigger my programmed lights by moving a magnet closer to the sensor. Now I'm lining up my chibi chip and clip, and like I said earlier, it's basically a perfect fit thanks to that template I made. I test my circuit and it looks like my read switch is working because I see it blinking when I move a magnet close to it, but it also looks like I forgot to update my code because none of the other lights are working. I head over to the Chibitronics Make Code website and I realize that I've got a simple and super common issue. My read switch was connected to pin 3 in my circuit that I made, but in my code I said it was pin 0. So I just changed it from a 0 to a 3 and I download my code again. All right, one last task before I test my code. I printed one of the little bees from this image out separately and attached it to a popsicle stick with a magnet on the other side. It's like a magic wand. And in fact, there's a whole blog post on the Chibitronic site about making your own magic wand by Jill that you can check out. So now it's time to test and it looks like it's working great. I'm imagining that this is a story about the bees communicating with each other. As this little bee gets near, they all start talking to each other. And that's what's so fun about mashing up paper circuits with storytelling and coding via the Chibi Chip. It opens up all kinds of possibilities for telling stories in a really interactive and playful way.